Hey Medicals, welcome back. So today we will going to discuss about previous year questions on ENT. So without wasting a time, let's get started because I know your time is very precious. So here we have our first question. A young man with history of ear infection presents with a smooth erythematous swelling on mastoid process as shown below. Yes. What is the most likely diagnosis? So we have four options, parunculosis, acute mastoiditis, fibrous dysplasia and facial palsy. Yes, the right answer is acute mastoiditis. It is very simple, right guys? Why? Because history of ear infection with smooth erythematous swelling on mastoid process is highly suggestive of acute mastoiditis. Now our next question is target sign is seen in spontaneous CSF rhinorrhea, traumatic CSF rhinorrhea, both or none. Guys, you can pause the video if you want to think about it. Yes, the right answer is traumatic CSF rhinorrhea. Why? Because leakage of CSF into the nose is called as what? Yes, it is called as CSF rhinorrhea, right? And in traumatic CSF rhinorrhea, there is a chance or there is CSF which can mixed with blood. So, where blood will be, you will target sign. Dikhenga, okay? Moving toward our next question. A 12-year adolescent male presents with unilateral mass in the nose with recurrent spontaneous bleeding. On examination, pink mass covered with mucosa is found in the nasopharynx, which is the following is not to be done. It is very simple, guys. What is the diagnosis here? Yes, the diagnosis is juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma. And we have four options. And we have four options. Biopsy is done by for diagnosis. CECT is done. Endoscopy surgery can be done. Angioembolization can be performed. So what is the answer? Yes, it is biopsy for diagnosis. So what do we do? Biopsy do biopsy. Because it is, yes. अगर बायोप्सी करोगे तो प्रोफ्यूज ब्लीडिंग होगी ठीक है सो हियर इन जे एन ए द बायोप्सी इज कॉन्ट्राइंडिकेटेड राइट नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ पर्सन प्रेजेंटेड टू ओपीडी विथ कंप्लेंट्स ऑफ रोटेटरी वर्टिगो एंड नोसिया इन द मॉर्निंग ऑन चेंज इन पोजीशन ऑफ द हेड व्हाट इज योर डायग्नोसिस वी हैव फोर ऑप्शंस लेबरिंथाइटिस बी पी पी वी vestibular neuronitis and meniere's disease yes the answer is bppv in bppv there is positional vertigo and and it is characterized by vertigo when the head is placed in a certain critical position okay so answer is yes bppv now the next question is a 28 year female presents with history of bilateral hearing loss and tinnitus she can hear better in noisy environment examination showed intact eardrum bilaterally and the rinse test is negative bilaterally pure tone audiometry is given below what is the most probable diagnosis so look over here guys we have four options meniere's disease endolympatic fistula stapedial autosclerosis and vestibular sonoma you can see here here we have yes a heart notch look over here in 2000 hertz you can see here we have the car heart notch and it is seen in autosclerosis so the answer is yes option c the next question is caloric test was done on right side with cold water i moves to the opposite side which of the following corresponds to correct interpretation of nystagmus in this test and the options are Fast component to the left side, slow component to the left side, fast component to the right side and slow component to the right side. So let's rule out. So look over here, caloric test was done on the right side, okay? So and uh, and with the cold water. So in cold water we have the pneumonic cow. So nystagmus toward the opposite side, right? And in warm water, nystagmus is toward the same size. Here in the question, there is cold water, so the nystagmus seen in left side right and the cold water will stimulate horizontal nystagmus toward the opposite side so it is the 
fast component guys so fast component to the left side option a is correct now the question number now the next question a 16 year old male complains of nasal obstruction nasal blockage a mass is seen in the nasopharynx with minimal extension into spinoid sinus what is the stage of nasopharyngeal fibroma guys this question is very important it is asked two times in the INICT this tumor is classified by Radowski classification so look over here here we have the chart so look over here 1a is limited to the nares okay option b it is involving at least one paranasal sinuses okay so you can see in our question there is yes extension into spinoid sinus so here we have the involvement of yes paranasal sinus okay so our correct option is b but let's talk about this chart so in second a minimum lateral extension into the yes pterygomaxillary fossa so ye naam dekh lo ek bar here we have pterygomaxillary fossa in 2b there is extension to the yes full occupation of the pterygomaxillary fossa okay and in 2c there is involvement of s yes, infratemporal fossa okay guys so these two words are very important pterygomaxillary fossa and infratemporal fossa and the third stage is a and b so there is extension to the skull okay so this is the radowski classification now let's talk about our next question best surgery to relieve intractable vertigo in a meniere's disease patient is so we have four options surgical labyrinthectomy vestibular neurectomy endolymphatic sac decompression and cochleosaculotomy so what is the answer yes the gold standard treatment for intractable vertigo in a patient of meniere disease is yes surgical labyrinthectomy so option a is correct okay and agar acute episode raha to kya karenge what is the answer let me know in the comment what is the treatment for acute episode of yes meniere disease the next question is best best patient position for rails tube insertion let's look toward the options supine with neck extension supine with neck flexed sitting with neck extended and sitting with neck flexed so guys आपने अगर इंटर्नशिप अच्छे से की होगी तो आपको इसका आंसर आना ही चाहिए यस कैसे राइल स्टूप का इंसर्शन करते हैं बैठ के विथ नेक फ्लेक्स सो ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज गेल्स टेस्ट इज डन इन वी हैव फोर ऑप्शन ओटोस्क्लेरोसिस सिरस ओटाइटिस मीडिया ट्रोमेटिक हेयरिंग लॉस एंड एज रिलेटेड हेयरिंग लॉस सो द राइट आंसर इज यस ओटोस्क्लेरोसिस विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज not seen in superior semicircular canal divisions okay so agar aapne padha honga to you know the answer right the options are autophony tulio phenomenon oral full nails and sensory neural hearing loss so do you know guys semicircular canal ko aur kya kehte hain yes it is also known as third window syndrome so here we can see autophony tulio phenomenon oral fullness but sensory neural hearing loss is not seen here so option d is correct the next question is a 55 year old male present with a lesion of 2.5 cm into 3.5 cm on lateral border of the tongue with induration there is a there is no associated lymphadenopathy what is the staging according to the 8th agcc guidelines so we have four options right let's eliminate it so you can see there is no associated lymphadenopathy so here you can get your answer right lymph nodes involved nahi hai so option a dekhiye there is n0 baki teeno option mein kya hai yes baki teeno option mein kya hai n1 n1 and n2 so iska answer to a hi hai but let's look over the 8th agcc classification of carcinoma of leaf and oral cavity so guys mai itna yahan bolta nahi you can take a screenshot and 
you will get the answer which of the following is not a cause of squamous cell carcinoma of head and neck so we have four options epstein bar virus hpv betel nuts and vitamin a so what is the answer think about it yes the answer is vitamin a risk factors for head and neck cancer are tobacco alcohol prolonged sun exposure viruses like hpv and epstein barr viruses and it is more common in yes it is more common in male now the next question is look over here arrange the sequence of auditory pathway from peripheral to central okay so we have four options inferior colliculus cochlear nucleus auditory cortex and medial geniculate body so what is the answer so guys we have mnemonic e coli ma right so e for eight now c for cochlear nucleus so the first option is yes cochlear nucleus right so b then e coli so c o o for superior olivary complex l for lateral lemniscus i for inferior colliculus so look over here here we have the inferior colliculus so b then a and m for medial geniculate body so b a d and a for yes auditory cortex so at the end we have c so the pattern is b a d c okay now the next question is following parotidectomy numbness on face is present while shaving is due to injury of greater auricular nerve mandibular nerve facial nerve auricular temporal nerve yes the right answer is we can eliminate two options right auricular temporal nerve and mandibular nerve the right answer is greater auricular auricular nerve identify the instrument it is very easy guys agar aapne ent ke surgeries attend kiye honge to aapko ye answer aana hi chahiye yes it is mollison mastoid retractor and we have four options boils retractor doins retractor perkins perkins mastoid retractor if you want to watch video on the instruments of ent you can visit our channel and you will get the videos the next question is what is the proce what is the procedure done in the given image and we have four options vidian nerve block frontal sinus trifenation anterior ethmoidal nerve block and nld syringing so guys the answer is yes naso lacrimal duct syringing okay you can see here we have anterior ethmoidal nerve block yes and this is the vidian nerve block so this is nld syringing now the next question is identify the mechanism of giving prosthesis used for voice production in a post laryngectomy patient chicago prosthesis tracheo esophageal speech esophageal speech device and electrolarynx yes the right answer is tracheo esophageal speech it is a one way valve placed between trachea and esophagus when patient blocks tracheostom this will redirect air from trachea into esophagus causing vibration of pharyngeal mucosa and producing sound this sound can be converted into speech speech is audible can speak complete sentence so this is the best method to rehabilitate okay so answer is b now the next question is a child present with high grade fever inspiratory stridor and develops solving difficulty with drooling of saliva since last 4 to 6 hours which of the following treatment is recommended apart from general airway management so can you guess what is the diagnosis guys yes the diagnosis is acute epiglottitis so yahan par kya dena chahiye yes we have to give the antibiotics so iv ceftriaxone is the answer but we have four options nebulized racemic epinephrine anti diphtheria toxin corticosteroid so yahan par kya dena hai apne ko yes iv ceftriaxone now the next question is a clinical case of vertigo lasting for few seconds associated with movement of head posture the condition was treated with eplase maneuver what is the diagnostic test so what is the diagnostic test yes 
सो वी हैव फोर ऑप्शंस ब्रांडेड ड्रॉफ एक्सरसाइज ई प्लेस मैनुअ डिक्स हेल्प पाइक्स मैनुअ एंड हेलमिच मैनुअ द आंसर इज डिक्स हेल्प पाइक्स मैनुअ एंड व्हाट इज द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द हेड पोस्चर यस वी जस्ट प्रीवियसली डिस्कस इट इज बी पी पी वी ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आई आइडेंटिफाई द स्ट्रक्चर बींग मार्क एज बी सो लुको हियर दिस इज द बी ओके एंड वी हैव फोर ऑप्शन पायरिफॉर्म फोर्स इपिग्लॉटिस लैरेंजियर इनलेट एंड एरे इपिग्लॉटिक फोल्ड्स सो यस द एंसर इज पायरिफॉर्म फोर्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मे नॉट बी प्रेजेंट इन कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ओटाइटिस मीडिया सो वी हैव फोर ऑप्शन रिजॉल्ड ऑप्सेस बैटल साइन Delta sign and Grissigner sign. So, what is the answer? Which of the following may not be present in complicated otitis media? So, is me se kunta complication nahi hai otitis media ka. So, yes, it is the battle sign. Okay. Battle sign is ecchymosis over the mastoid seen in fracture of temporal bone, not in otitis media. Okay. The next question is endoscopic image of nasal cavity. now identify this structure and we have four options inferior turbinate middle turbinate superior turbinate and septum this is very simple guys so look over here yes it is yeah option a is correct inferior turbinate so here we have lower turbinate middle turbinate this is the nasal septum yes and septal spur impl impacting against the inferior turbinate you can see here okay The next question is specimen of larynx and which marked structure constitute of larynx. So I already given the answer here. Specimen of larynx and which marked structures constitute the larynx. A, B, C, and D. Yes, the answer is A, epiglottis, C, thyroid, and D, cricoid. Okay. Now the next question is arrange the auditory pathway in ascending order. Guys, I already told this answer. and the here we have the mnemonic e coli ma so you can use this mnemonic and here the answer is superior olivary nucleus uske baad mein lateral lemniscus after that inferior colliculus and at the end medial geniculate ganglion okay we have mnemonic e coli ma so we have the mnemonic e coli ma you can refer it you can click the link given in the sidebar now identify this x ray codwells view Waters view, Pierce view, and Reyes view. So, if you not visited our Instagram channel, please visit it. Every day we are posting important images and notes for you guys. So, how many ye Codwell's view and Waters view? Sorry, ka difference bhi hai jao. So, you can visit this channel uh, and get benefited from it. So, the answer is yes, Codwell's view. So, thanks for watching this video and. Stay healthy and all the best for your upcoming INSET examination and NEET PG examination. Thank you.